come desire of nations bind in one the hearts of all humankind. Bid thou our sad division cease and be thyself our Prince of Peace. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Holy Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of Lita Salazon. Lita Salazon. The evening Mass intention for the six o'clock Mass is for the intentions of Zenaida Marquez for her intentions. And Father Cashin, I think you're celebrating Mass for one of the deceased. Oh, he's celebrating Mass for one of our deceased Dominicans. We had two Dominicans die on different days last week, and, um, and Father uh, Cashin is celebrating this Mass for one of the two Dominicans. Maybe some of you had met him before. His name is Brother Daniel. Brother Daniel. And so Father Cashin is celebrating Mass for the intention of uh, his soul. As we enter into these Advent mysteries, the last days of Advent, let us call to mind our sins. Lord, you are ruler who will be coming soon. Lord, have mercy. Your name will be called Emmanuel. Christ have mercy, because you will be God with us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray, hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayer of your people, that those who rejoice in the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh, may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks. He says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and you are lovely. The Word of the Lord. 
Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the sound of at the moment the sound your, of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. To you, Lord Jesus Christ. Um, well, um, I'm happy to say that Father Roberto is ready to um, uh, come back to um, back. We just want the the uh, our parish staff to make sure that they're um, that they understand uh, that he can do that, and they have, they have a right to make a decision whether they will um, allow him to, to come out out here to see you or not, <laughs> and. Uh, um, or, or to work in the office, so we will uh, we will cross our fingers that that will that he will be able to come back out of out of um, quarantine. He really wants to come back. He just wants so much to to see you, and so we hope that he will be able to. Um, I have a funny story about this reading. Um, I heard it from one of the pr the priests from the National Shrine of the uh, Divine Mercy in Stockbridge. Um, he was preaching yesterday, and he got up to preach, and I noticed his haircut. He didn't have a very good haircut. Um, and um, so, uh, sure enough, he started talking about haircuts. I think he was self-conscious about it, being on, you know, people all over the country watching uh, him at Mass. And so he said, well, the last haircut that I got um, was several, you know, several years ago before he entered into this formation for the priesthood and the barber was uh, a barber he used to always go to and uh, he was a uh, baptist and he always used to go and and the barber said are you still thinking about go about this whole priest thing and he said well i i'm going to go for the discernment um you know we ha we have a long discernment process of novitiate uh, postulancy and novitiate and to see if this really is what the Lord is calling me to. And then there was a man in the next barber chair. 
the man in the next barber chair said, oh, so you're going to go into a monastery and say a lot of Hail Marys, are you? Well, um, he said, he said, oh, you know, well, uh, good question, sir. Now I can tell that you love the Lord. Yes, I do. And uh, that you want to, uh, you know, do what is right. And uh, in the Lord's eyes and Jesus' eyes, your Savior. Yes, I do. And you love the scriptures, don't you? I do. And he said, okay, well, what does the first chapter of Luke talk about? He said, well, the birth of Jesus. And he said, well, uh, let's um, think about that. Jesus, the birth of Jesus is on chapter 2. But what's the first chapter of St. Luke about? You should know. You love the scriptures. And he said, well, uh, the, his mother is, is uh, per, you know, pregnant with him. And what happens in verse, let me see here, verse 39 to 45 this morning's reading. Um, uh, when, when she goes to visit Elizabeth and, the babe, and Elizabeth's baby uh, jumps in the womb. Why is it that the baby jumps in the womb? And the Baptist said, well, because Jesus was in the womb as his mother. And he said, is that why the baby jumped? He goes, yes, it's because the, um, the, the baby Jesus was in the womb of the mother. And so he said, well, let's, um, and of course the barbershop had a Bible, and said, Can, let's look at your Bible up here and take down the Bible and open it up. And it said, um, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. At the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. So it wasn't the baby in Mary's womb, it was Mary's voice that um, provoked the, uh, the jump, the leaping of the dancing of John the Baptist in his womb. Well, anyway, um, it was funnier at the time. But, um, but it's, but it's, it, it made a really uh, good point. Um, and, and then he, he went on to say, and Mary later on says, all generations will call me blessed. And you should obey that because uh, Mary has said that, and that's in the Bible, and all generations should call her blessed. So should you. And I think the Baptist um, was had to think about that for a while before he rejected it outright well um so anyway that was the funny story about this reading and um that and uh, i guess that guy's just not going to get good haircuts anymore but anyway um that was his that was the, the moral of that story but let us stand and pray that the entire church enlightened by Christ's coming may see the areas of our darkness and bring them to him for to be set on fire and become light of hope for the world. We pray to the Lord that the true gift, the gift of true light for all leaders, civil leaders, that they will may honestly seek remedy for all our problems we pray to the Lord for all who are so abandoned that they don't even see the possibility of help that Christ will send helpers with the gifts of encouragement and persuasion we pray to the Lord and for ourselves that Christ will show us through our priests where we are in error and lead us out in the strength of freedom, we pray to the Lord. For the intention for this morning's Holy Mass, for Lita Salazon, for the repose of her soul, we pray to the Lord. 
and for the intention for this eve the six o'clock mass for the intentions of zenaida marquez we pray to the lord and we want to pray with father cashin um, for the repose of the soul of brother daniel and also for another priest who is in his 90s and he died last week or a couple days ago um, father gus hartman we pray to the lord and for Father Roberto to be able to come out into out of quarantine and to minister to uh, to all of you as he loves and is desiring, we pray to the Lord. The Lord Jesus, you give us strength, transform us from our sins into a new life of pardon, forgiveness, and joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. beloved brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father be pleased O Lord to accept the offerings of your church for in your mercy you have given them to be offered and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise and so with angels and archangels thrones and dominions and the hosts and powers of heaven we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of our Lord, of, of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. To all of you present, and also to all those on live stream watching from your homes, let us turn and offer the sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. At least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. Embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service they may know abundant health health in mind and body through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you the peace and blessing of almighty God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel.